Alan, a small break in competitive fixtures for, for the development squad now, but obviously the hard work doesn't stop and we've got the chance today with, with the weather as it is to come in the dome and, and use the facilities here just to give us a flavour of what that's like. Very much so and it shows the progress the club's made. I think this is a real legacy of the, 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 the club getting to the Premier League and all those people that, that put, put in the effort and the supporters to, to get the club here. And this is a big, a big legacy now and we're very grateful. And like I say, our players, first team, academy, women's are all going to benefit from this. Um, and the long-term future of the club looks really, really, really bright, which is great for everyone that, that loves the club like we do. With that rise in infrastructure and facilities comes Category 2 status now for the club. Obviously, a really exciting time and a really exciting first season in the Professional Development League so far. Second in the South Group at present. Just how would you reflect on how the campaign's gone as a whole? It's been brilliant. Like So many stadium experiences, which I, I've thoroughly enjoyed. Um, having you know, taken Bournemouth teams over the years in, in maybe some less glamorous surroundings to, to go to places like Portman Road, um, Coventry Stadium, uh, Oakwell at Barnsley we've done, uh, Turf Moor, there's others that are, and obviously our own stadium. Um, it's been great and we've got, we've got five stadium games to come which we're really excited about. But what I like about us is that every time we play I recognise my team, I recognise my players. I think the, the freedom we give them to play I think, I think they've benefited from with all the type of characters we've got in the team. And just pick up some, some special moments of, and highlights of the season and what's been a special season, like I said, first season at Category 2 level. Uh, highlights has been loads. Like, all the stadium games have been great. To see players out on loan at a good level and, and, and doing well is, is, is always satisfying. Um, we've had players on the bench of the first team, which is, which is nice. Um, I think a couple of goals that we scored, um, QPR, in the league away was a nice team goal. Leeds at home in the Premier League Cup was also a nice um, team goal. So there have been highlights, I would say, overall. And um, I think just the general everyday feel of the group has been a real highlight as well, because they always want to come in and train hard and, uh, and improve. And yeah, I love working with this group. Away from football as well, how nice and how rewarding is it for you to see them develop as people as, as, well, as, as well as football? Yeah, there's some of these boys I've known since they were 10 years old, so to see them now at like 19 sort of years, age, uh, years of age, some of them, we try and create an environment that's, that's firm but fair and, and that will support them and um, yeah, that's a, a really important part of, of, of their journey with us. Looking ahead to those final five games, now we've mentioned the top two place there, obviously a top two place in the southern section of the Professional Development League gets you into the, the playoffs with the, with the top two of the northern and, and, and could set up a real exciting finale, doesn't it? Just gives you a look ahead to those last five games. Yeah, it's very much like, I suppose, the Football League playoffs. Um, that's the way, I, like, in my playing experience, I can relate to that and sort of thinking I want the players to have those high-pressure games into the season where, I suppose, that you're looking for an overall national winner. Um, so to finish in the top two would be an amazing achievement to get into a semi-final and hopefully a final. The players have got an opportunity now at the, the crunch crunch stage of the season to go and play in higher pressure games to get a feel of what it's like in, in first team football at this stage of the season and um, as long as we continue to work as hard as we are and show what we're about in and out of possession and continue to apply the, all the work that we're doing then I'll be happy and of course I want us to win games but that's my main focus and um, yeah like I say exciting times in these next few weeks for, for, for everyone involved. An exciting time at Vitality Stadium, I think it's the 14th of May, crew come to town. It could be a pivotal game in our season, just how excited are you for that? Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's our last regular league game, so hopefully you know, we're in with a chance to make that top two like we spoke about and it, it could be a, a really exciting and a high pressure game for, for our players. So um, I, I'm hopeful that that is the situation because I'd love, I'd love the boys to experience that must-win feel of their last game of the season. Um, and of course, like we had earlier in the season, back in December against Ipswich, we had an incredible support that night, I think 2,500. So um, yeah, it would be, the, I think the last, I think it's after the first team's last home game. So if we could get as many supporters to, to, to back us again, that would be amazing. And I'm sure they'd, they'd like what they see with the effort and, and hopefully the quality that our boys can show. A real chance for them to come and see potentially some of the stars of the future. That's it, yeah, that's um, what the club have always done. The sport has always backed you know, the next generation. So like I say, it is an opportunity and we, we would love their support and really appreciate if they could come along.